Now, International Day of the Girl Child is celebrated annually on October 11th to recognize girls, their rights, the unique challenges that they face around the world. The theme for this year's IDG is Invest in Girls' Right, Our Leadership, Our Well-Being. This year's theme focuses on the importance of investing in girls' rights to achieve gender equality and sustainable, sustainable rather, development. When girls are empowered to reach their full potential, they can drive change in their communities and their world. So, happy International Day of the Girl Child. Very important day. So I was at an event today and he was speaking to the issues and the challenges around women, especially in the workplace, you mm -hmm. know, young people. Um, do you choose between your work, your career, your family? Mm -hmm. You know, do you choose, you know, those kind of regular conversations, issues around imposter syndrome where yeah. you're doing all the work, it seems like nobody's recognizing you, you know. I, I was a bit, you know, would I say that, you know, because again, I'm raising voice, so... I was a bit skewed to try to create a balance in the conversation that these things are not things that are just unique um, to boys, I mean to girls, I mean, or female. It also happens to the male folks. So when I see days like this, it's very important that we recognize how far we've come as people, you know, especially with the kinds of rights now that women are able to, um, what's it called, to express. Unlike before, where because you were just female, you couldn't do certain things mm. just because you were female, mm. not because you didn't have the ability or the capacity to do it. So in terms of how far we've come, we've come a very long way to now recognizing that girls are also human beings too, and they have rights and they are able to express those rights, able to do things like vote, go to school and all of those things. Like literally we've come very far. I'd just like to say again, in as much as we're pushing you know, because again, something led us to where we are that now created this gap that needed to be filled where the world's attention is on the girl child. Yeah. We need to also create that balance so that when boys, you understand, are growing, they don't fall. I mean, years from now, we don't come back to not saying International Day for Boy Child, Boy this, Boy that. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Um, we have to cr create that balance. But this day is a very important day. Um, it's so sad that a lot of... Um, female um, folks are not still able to do certain things, certain cultures, you know, and all of that. So many things need to be expunged. I think I was talking to someone um, on Sunday, yeah, at a dinner, and there's a law in some part of Nigeria. I'm trying to remember the law now. You know, he was saying that he's so excited that that thing has been expunged, you know, from the culture. This was something that, you know, it affected women strongly, yeah. you know. And um, just, I think it was that same Sunday or maybe a day before that day, they just um, completely uh, abolished it. I'll try to remember, but it was something very major. Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, those kind of things, when you meet those milestones, it's things to celebrate. Yeah. 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 Well, you, you said a lot. So, yeah, there had been a lot of things over the years that, um, you know, the girl child has not been, you know, even down to sports, I would say the things that probably uh, personally concern me, and even till date, you know, there are still, pay still disparities, yeah, pay disparities and all that, and a few other things. Um, but, uh, like you said, was is the idea of celebrating the day is also to drag a lot of awareness to um, the growing need for a lot of things in terms of when it concerns as it concerns the girl child and i'm happy we can celebrate it and we're still because we you know we give birth to females you know we have females so it's very very important for us to take them into a, um, consideration in terms of what do they need what are the things that over the years like you said that when the girl child was not you know did not apply to the girl child and mm -hmm. today we are able to celebrate that in sports in arts in education mm -hmm. and in so many fields even in tech you know as, as it is but it's still something that we need to constantly bring to the forefront in terms of awareness so that people will constantly consider it and is is right there at the top of our mind mm -hmm. yeah okay let's quickly run through what we found in today's news all right uh so for me resident rescue boy 
who was buried alive by his brother for allegedly stealing 1,000 Naira in Kogi State. Mm. So according to the boy, um, he's the elder brother of the young little boy who stole. He said his mom or the mother had told him to punish the boy for stealing. And um, when they were questioning him, he said that he had stolen before in the past and nobody punished him, nothing was done to him. And then this time his mother gave go ahead and told him to punish him. So my question is, um, okay, punish your kid brother. Why did you think of burying him? How is that a punishment? You're trying to kill the person. Like I, The entire thing doesn't make any sense to me, but they've reported the case to the police, so I think the police is handing it right now. <laughs> Coincidentally, I think I saw that um, um, news report. And I think he buried it up to the next side. You know how you bury... Someone in sand, so in sand, and the then sand or to like like punishment and stuff like that. I don't know what the intention. You know, some people go all the way to that oh that extent in terms of killing a family member or the brother, sister, cousin just because of something. I think it was. I don't know what state it was, but the um, a, a, an eighteen is in the north, mm. an eighteen year old pregnant wife bit her i i can't remember how old the child was but like less than six years and bit her to death mm. because she defecated on herself so um you know what in line with what you were saying about mental health there's a lot going on and where it's also good that we're coming to that realization that there's a lot of things happening because um, these things are backlogged. You know, how our parents were raised is different yeah. from how they raised us. How they were raised is different from how we're raising our kids. So it's it's improving or getting worse. In some areas, it's improving. In some areas, it's getting worse. And it's, it's quite, you know, how... It's, it's the default mode that is even getting me. That how can you just, first of all, think punishment and you just go straight to bury... bury. <laughs> Is what I don't understand. I need to understand the mind, the mind of the child. Yeah, it's, 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 it's what he has been exposed to, right? Yeah. You're talking about the child, yeah? Mm. But it's the mindset. Where was he coming from? He could have come from a household where, you know, you do something, you rather run to, you'd rather just pack your things and run to your neighbor's house and say, I'm not coming back again, you know, because in fear of what you would go through. Mm. Let's take your story. Which is even Jim. worse. So, in line with what Jennifer just said, so in the line of stealing, so, a doctor is jailed for two years for stealing hospital beds in a bomb. So, <laughs> the medical superintendent, um, Mwapa Adolphus Uche, was sentenced to two years in prison for stealing hospital beds from Emmanuel General Hospital and Emmanuel um, Psychiatric Hospital in, in Eket, um, a quiet bomb state. And he used his, uh, his position to commit the crime. There were two other accomplices that were also sentenced. So this is just in line with what she was saying. It's the mindset. <laughs> it's just how people... Well, I don't understand how people are punishing people for stealing. Yeah, for stealing, stealing, what? stealing is stealing, sure. Stealing is stealing. There has to be a punishment for mm. things like this. You couldn't. You. It's just like. But we're, we're also waiting for this stealing to, hospital bed. Is it not to go into where is it to save other? No, friends? but you don't understand. To this guy is a why I say is a mindset. He would. He can ask himself. Okay, there's no the hospital. It depends on the hospital. Yeah. When we look into the hospital, we'll find out some other things. Maybe there's no lights. Maybe there's, there's no. Paid. There's no drip. They've not paid they've bills. Not paid. And I said, let me pay myself. So he would just be thinking to he either come he either comes to him from a place of money making. So he wants to make money. Sell, resell the bed and all that, or he just it just comes to him from a place. Or some people are just like that. He's going to want to supply it somewhere else now. So, but that's the thing. You are a doctor. Mm. Um, you are in charge. That your first. He's taking it to his practice. taking it to his practice. But that's the thing. You are in charge of saving people's lives. But you are here. You, you need a bed. bed to save. Yes. Okay. And maybe he has his own clinic. I build. I want to say that. That's <laughs> why, guys. It's not <laughs> funny. Is that, no. It's not funny. So listen, I've heard of cases of okay, they are stealing um, drugs, equipment. The, to the point where you go to the extent of stealing a bed. There's no more dignity. Ah, ah, you you it. It. <laughs> so my story, I just want to follow up quickly on what Mary had taken yesterday on uh, David Doe. You know, there's been speculation. You born twins, you know born twins, you born twins, you know born twins. So 
the video has come out to say that you people should stop circulating old pictures. So apparently there's been a video going around of um, him on the bed sleeping and Choma on the bed and all of that, you know, that video. A couple of celebrities, I think I'd saw, I, I saw it on the... Um, um, Yabo Joe's page earlier today, you know, they posted they, it, posted it telling him congratulations on the twin. My own is that why is the video putting all of us in suspense? You born twins, have been no born twins. Let us know where we are. But he wrote on X that, um, please stop circulating uh, old pictures. Um, because there's been so many reports going viral about him and um, Choma welcoming a set of twins. Yeah, you know, we're still going to say th if it is true, congratulations. Is, a, is I mean, mm. it's, it's a win for all of us because we understand this, the loss. That he suffered. Um, so, but um, let him just come out and tell us. So, are you saying it's in? unconfirmed right now? That's, it's just with speculation. They've not come out to say. So, but everybody is congratulating them, you know, and all of that. So, yeah. on that note, let's take a break. Let's discuss mental health. Stay with us. We'll be right.